Hey everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade the RAM as well as the storage of your Razer Blade laptops. Now, I'll be doing the upgrade on my Razer Blade 16 Mercury Edition, but the procedure is pretty similar to any other laptops that you might have, and I'll just give you a few tips along the way. Now, first off, if you do own a Razer laptop, Razer fully supports you upgrading your device. Opening it up won't void the warranty, but do note that if you break something in the process of upgrading, that will void your warranty. But I'll link you all of the warranty information down below so you can go and check that out for the full details. And if you're using a different brand of laptop, I highly recommend go and check out the warranty information first, just so you know what you're getting yourself into and what is covered and what's not. To do the upgrade, besides the actual components, you will need some specialized tools because laptops use very tiny screws. So I've got this little mini screwdriver kit here that I bought for cheap off Amazon, but I'll drop you links to that one as well as a couple of other nicer options down below so you can go and check that out. Now, before you open up your laptop, you will need to shut it down properly. Not sleep mode, not hibernation or any other not quite shut down mode, shut down fully. Then you can get started. So flip over your laptop and the Razer Blade 16 has eight M2 L3.5 screws spread across the back cover. So make sure that you select the right screwdriver tip and then remove all of those screws. And then you can simply lift the cover off the back. You may need to use a flat screwdriver just to help, you know, pop that off the edges and be gentle that you're not breaking something off. If it's too stiff, you probably missed the screw somewhere. So just gently lift that off the back of the laptop and you should immediately see the RAM slots right in the middle of the motherboard and the M2 SSD slots down the bottom left. For my RAM upgrade, I've picked these crucial DDR5 Sodium 5600 MHz RAM and I got two sticks of 32 GB RAM for a total of 64. And do make sure that the frequency and the type of RAM that you're putting into your device matches what the device supports. And you may have to dig around the internet or just look at the specs on the official websites for that. Now, replacing the RAM in your laptop is generally really easy. All you need to do is gently push apart the spring clips on the side of the RAM and the RAM module should pop up. So you can just pull it right out. And then you can simply take your new RAM modules and slot them into the socket, making sure that the orientation on the RAM stick itself matches the orientation of the socket. Push it in, push it down very gently, and you should hear a soft click as everything snaps into place. For the SSD upgrade, I'm reusing my trusty Samsung 970 EVO Plus 2 terabyte SSD hard drive. Now, the Razer Blade 16 can actually support larger capacity hard drives. However, because the drives sit on top of each other in a pretty tight space, you can't use two hard drives that have chipsets on both sides. Otherwise, that space gets just a little bit too tight and the whole thing may simply not fit anymore. The SSD drive I'm using only has chips on one side of the stick, so I knew it was going to be fine. To install the SSD, remove the tiny Phillips screw on top of the M2 socket and then pop off the rubber washer. Then slot the new SSD into that socket, again being gentle until it clicks into place. Push it down gently and then put the rubber washer back on and screw it back down without over tightening it. And that is it. The last part is putting everything back together and I highly recommend only putting one or two screws into that back cover just in case something doesn't quite work the way you expect it to. Then say a little prayer to the computer gods and turn it back on. And this is where I personally had a little heart attack because the laptop didn't turn back on. It stayed on a black screen. I could hear the fan spinnings and the power light was flashing, but nothing came on the screen. After shutting the laptop all the way back down, I opened it back up and swapped the sticks around to see if I had gotten a bad stick. But my RAM sticks were fine. I was simply being too impatient. Due to the RAM swap, the first initial startup of the laptop simply took quite a lot longer than I expected, about one or two minutes. And here's a time-lapse video of me waiting for it to start up. But eventually the laptop booted up, the Razer logo came up, everything started up normally. Then checking my system information, I can now see that I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM running at 5200 megahertz. And if that gives you a moment to pause, on the official Razer website, it says that they will get auto scaled down to 5200 megahertz. But I'm just throwing it out there in case that catches you out. The new SSD I had put in place also showed up with all of my files, so everything was fine. But as you can see, the procedure is pretty straightforward as long as you have the right components for your particular laptop, you have the right tools, and you're gentle with what you're doing, you should generally be fine. Finally, just a quick note on why I upgraded my Razer Blade 16 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. It already had 32 in it and it had a one terabyte SSD drive in it already. I do a lot of 3D work, a lot of video compositing, a lot of 4K editing, and stuff gets heavy fast, especially when I run a lot of different programs at the same time, like After Effects, Premiere Pro, Unreal Engine, Blender, Photoshop, I might have a whole bunch of stuff open, and a lot of these programs are pretty RAM hungry. For most of the stuff that you might do, even 4K video editing, 32 gigabytes of RAM will be fine. If you're running physics simulations, you're getting more into 3D, or again, like me, you love running a lot of things at once. Additional RAM can simply help speed up the performance of your system because more data can be kept in memory rather than being written to your hard drive. And 
right back in. So I always like running with 64 gigabytes of RAM just because of the nature of the work that I do. And the two terabyte additional hard drive, I hope that doesn't need to be set. I've got a bunch of stuff of stock footage and video projects that I'm working on. I'm considering upgrading to something even bigger, but we have a NAS box where I can store all my files on. So I figured an additional two terabytes has usually worked out for me just fine. But fortunately, the upgrade itself is pretty straightforward. Whether you're using a Razer laptop or you've got a different brand, it's a pretty simple procedure. Again, just check your warranty information on what is and isn't covered when you work with your device. But hopefully you found this video useful. If you would like to support me, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It really makes a big difference and I really, really appreciate it. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.